Hi everybody. Hope you had a happy new year. I didn't do anything because I got COVID. <laughs> so we were in actually day 14 of just sitting at home. So I watched some TV, watched the ball drop, watched a couple shows, but that's usually what we end up doing anyway. I'm not a big old stay up late night for New Year's anymore, really. So no complaints. I'm hoping 2022 is better for all of us. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I think it would. I think we would all be happy with that. So, what, um, I'm going to try something tonight. I think we need a little bit more pillow paint here. I'm going to do a balloon, a big balloon. I'm going to, um, and then I'm going to play with the edges of it. I'm going to try to get a different look to it. Something I saw someone else do, and I just like the different look. Always looking for something different. So, we got that on there. I'm going to get my colors ready. So I'm starting with Liquitex Bright Aqua Green Paint. I haven't gotten to do a whole lot of paintings over the past two weeks because I just didn't feel up to it. So I'm getting back at it and excited to do that. So I'm going to do a lot of paint because I want this to spread out and cover this entire 8x10 canvas. I don't want too much uh, white hanging around. So that's that. Next color, Primary Elements Peacock Pigment. This is one of my favorite colors. Can't go wrong with it. Beautiful, dark, peacock-looking color. Again, I'm going to make sure I put enough down. Next one. I haven't tried this one yet. Primary Elements Nebula Star. It is a beautiful, beautiful um, teal kind of peacock, but um, kind of like a deep sky, like a dark sky color, like the nebula that it's called. Really pretty color. So I'm interested to see how that one turns out. I have not used it. So that was paint, pigment, pigment. This one is a paint, DecoArt Extreme Aquamarine. This is another one of my favorite colors. And I'm kind of doing, you know, alternating dark light, dark light. For the most part it took me a while to lay these colors out just now I had to think about it so that i could get the paint pigment pigment paint pigment pigment and also get dark light dark light so just kind of play around with your layout before you start this is primary elements guatemalan green Another one of my favorite colors. 
this is this little piggy lakeside another one of my new colors if you could see my blues and teals my pile of them i kid you not well let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, about 32. 32 different blues and teals. That's how much I love them. And I'll tell you what, they each have their own place. I could, I could use them all in like every painting. Yeah, I'm out of control with my blues and teals. So this is kind of like a pretty slate blue. I like that one. All right, our last paint, Master's uh, Touch, Thalo Green. This is another beautiful color. Oh, I got to mix me up some more of this when we're done here. We're going to finish this. This is just a beautiful green. all by itself and i know i'm doing teals but this color looks beautiful in any painting because it gives it a tealy green even though it's called green this is um sea glass pigment by primary elements so now i'm getting lighter because i'm getting to the top this one has a beautiful shimmer to it. Okay. And the last one is, oh wait, that was, yeah, that was that this little piggy on the sea glass. And this last one is this little piggy mermaid. Another beautiful color. All right, so we have our lights on top. We've got a good amount down. Oh, where is my skewer? Let's pop these air bubbles. Kind of got to go looking for them because I have a lot of color down there. Okay, now we're going to get our black cell activator and we're going to put down quite a bit because I want to spread out and cover this entire 8x10 with color. So. I have not used my cell activator in two weeks, but I can already see that it's getting hazy. So I know it's still good. And I'm gonna center this. And I'm thinking we're going to start with the little light blow dryer. Now I'm going to get my bigger blow dryer because we got room to cover here. beautiful all right we're gonna let spinning do the rest of the work so what I want to do 
all of these colors are flipping amazing. So I'm going to get my, my tool though. Here it is. Okay. I'm going to just go around the edges. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Oh, pretty. All right, what do you think? Uh, I'm just going to get a couple more swoops in here. But I want to keep that center part of the bloom static. So I'm going to quit right there. And now we are going to spin. Look at this. It's beautiful. All right. So I kind of want to get it tilting more and out to the edges. So let's go the other way. All right, it's getting there. It's almost there. Yeah, we got it all the way around except for right here. We still need to get a little more. Oh, wow. I love the swirls on the edges. We need to get some more right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt. Okay. This is not moving off right here. We're going to give it a little bit of help to get over that edge. We're going to spin some more. Okay, let me look at the edges. Oh, yes, we've got it going over everywhere now, except for right here. It doesn't like this edge. Let's see if we can help that by sliding it over that way. Otherwise, we have paint everywhere. There we go. It's coming this way now. It's oozing down the side. I must not have had paint on this edge pillow. There we go. Now it's moving. So I kind of like that right there. I don't want to do too much more to it, except one more spin, just to get some more paint off. Beautiful.
touch up the corners, scrape underneath the edges. I always tend to use too much paint because I have gotten caught before where I didn't have enough paint. So now I always have a bunch of paint dripping over and off the edges, but better to have too much than run short. It's not like it's that much. How is that for beautiful? So pretty. I'm going to take you down off of the stand here, show you a close up. Here we go. Look at the shimmer and shine of those pigments. All those different teals. And there's it looks like there's a lot of blue in there, but I didn't use any blue. I used all different teals. But that black darkens it up and it's it's funny. It looks very teal in the room here where I'm at but it looks more blue on the camera so I will take a picture of course <clears throat> when we're done when it's dry and you can see what the real look of the color is but how is that for pretty so anyway um welcome back I miss doing my paintings I'm happy to be back uh, happy to be doing something I like again instead of laying around and recuperating. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and um, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I would be happy to answer them. All right, Happy New Year, everybody. I wish you happy painting this year, and take care. All right, bye-bye.